really look just like a real British rock and roll band, but they're not. They're the stars of a movie called This Is Spinal Tap, a comedy documentary we're going to be reviewing this week on At The Movies. And across the aisle from me, Gene Sisko, film critic of the Chicago Tribune. And across the aisle from me, Roger Ebert, film critic of the Chicago Sun-Times. Now, in addition to This Is Spinal Tap, we'll also be reviewing in our society some strange attitude about kids. Next at the movies, a satire on those endless documentaries about British rock groups. Our next movie is named This is Spinal Tap. I just want to start out by saying this is a good movie. This is not only one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time, it's also one of the smartest and most clever. It's a comedy that pretends to be a documentary about a British rock group named Spinal Tap, and this is a group of long-haired rock and rollers who are pushing 40 years old, and they're still out there on the road again. The movie was directed by Rob Reiner, who plays the part of the director, and in this scene, he's interviewing some of the members of Spinal Tap about how they got their start. So talk a little bit about the history of the group. I understand, Nigel, you and David originally started the band uh, back in, when was it, 1964? Well, before that, we were in different groups. I was in a group called The Creatures, which was a skiffle group. I was in Lovely Lads. Yeah. And then we looked at each other and said, so well, we might as well join up, you know. And uh, So we became uh, the originals. Right. And uh, we had to change our name, actually. Well, there's, a, there's another group in the East End called the Originals, and uh, we had to rename ourselves. And the New Originals. New Originals, yeah. and then uh, they became the Regulars. They changed their name back to the Regulars, and we thought, well, we could we could go back to the Originals, but what's the point? But we became the Thamesmen at that point. Stop wasting my time. You know what I want. You know what I need. have to come right back out and tell you everything give me some money That stage approach looks pretty old-fashioned but here they are years later with a bright new staging idea. The great part there is when he's trying to maintain his cool for just that second when he wants to pretend that maybe the pod will open. Spinal Tap's tour gets worse <laughs> after that. Their concerts are canceled, their manager quits, and they develop the most disconcerting habit of killing off all of their drummers. One of the amazing things about this film is how much it really does feel like a real documentary. We get the dumb questions and the funny answers, and meanwhile we can see the group disintegrating before our very eyes. And yet, it's all done subtly. They don't go for the obvious gag. There's never a moment when we feel they're going for a cheap laugh. 
This is Spinal Tap, feels like a documentary. It works as a great comedy, and it also succeeds in telling us the story of this very badly confused rock band. I think it works as they have a terrific comic premise, because this film actually has something to say about the rock business, which mm -hmm. is that there are a lot of bad bands out mm -hmm. there, and they, are, they have some popularity. Mm -hmm. um, what they did, think about what they really did here. We get documentaries, when we think about it, it's worthy of a documentary, so make it about a serious, mm -hmm. good product, and therefore you'll learn about the nature of the product by studying the serious. Mm -hmm. This film is really doing something quite special. It's saying you can learn just as much by studying something lousy. Mm -hmm. We learn just as much about the rock business, if you want to know, from this movie, with all of its funny stuff, sure. as we do learn by studying the success of the Beatles in The Complete Beatles. Sure, you see all about uh, how they're going to package the album, how the they advertise, stuff, how yes. they tour, all the problems they have. And the other thing is, there's the story underneath the story of the band and the relationships yes. in the band that we pick up almost at the corner of the screen. One of the things I liked best about this movie was you had to be smart to watch it. Yeah. You had to think a little bit in order to figure out everything that was going on. It didn't well, shake hands you over your, the head. Shake hands with yourself then on that one. Okay, aren't you? I really want to congratulate myself <laughs> for my intelligence and I'm sure you feel good about yours too. Uh, yeah, I got it real easy. <laughs> I understood everything more than you did. Coming up next at the movies, Jamie Lee Curtis lives out her mother's fantasy life by having an affair with a married man. I don't want to be forward, but...